Hi, so okay, today I wanted to investigate something that I had just thought of. It's nothing important, but I was wondering if we could allow the plasma theme to set a border around dialogues to make them floating. Uh, as an example, such option would make a kickoff floating, but also the system tray, hopefully. Um, just like, I don't know, uh, the calendar or runner potentially, and so on. And I think uh, it should be, I, I, I won't say easy to implement because it won't, but the, it should be possible to have a clean implementation of this. So let's try it out. This is yet again another KD frameworks, Plasma frameworks, sorry. Um, change so let's get um, to master get pulled because why not create a new branch which will call call work Nicole uh, floating dialogues okay now we can start experimenting what we are editing is uh, plasma core dot dialogue and I always get this wrong I think it's uh, plasma I always get this wrong, so uh, can you help me? Dialog.h, this one, and it serves plasma quick and then dialog. Okay, makes sense. Again, always get it wrong, and the C++ part of it. So, what we want to change is the position of the dialog. I've read a bit through the code, uh, which I don't understand that well because it's not my area of competence but it's, it should kind of be but um, it's C++ is not like my programming language but still I've seen that there is a position um, function which is called what was it again uh, something about position not set position not uh, not reposition, just a sec, pop up position, this one, pop up position. And let's go to the definition, okay. This one does a lot of math stuff. So what we want to do is first of all investigate where this function is called. We probably need to change it here rather than anywhere else, but Let's give a look. So set visible. Okay. Uh, this one is update visibility. Again, this sets the position. This one geometry update layout parameters. It's in, okay. And then sync to main item size two times and that's it. Okay. So, so what we can do. So basically what this does is let's go through this function because it's very big. First of all, if there is no item, so basically the dialog is not uh, attached to um, a particular, I don't know, applet as an example, like kickoff, uh, it's attached to the kickoff icon. So it stays near that icon. If there's no such item, then it gets just, uh, it, it checks whether it's on top, left, bottom or right. And in that case, it position itself like top center, bottom center, left center, right center of, or if there's no alignment, just at the center of the screen, very clean. As an example, kickoff, uh, sorry, curve runner is not attached to any um, item. It's just posi pos positioned on top, meaning that it's center top. So we try to change that so this is the point this is the x coordinate this is the y if we remove 30 pixels from here we should see that the render moves a bit to the bottom so let's try out that out right away again this is to check out that we're actually working on uh, something and we know what's going on this is a nice wallpaper it's a pity to change it. Okay. And it didn't work. 
So kickoff is, uh, sorry, car runner is still in the correct position, which is annoying because it really seemed like it was supposed to move. Let's try adding a bit of minus 30s to see if anything happens. Yes, this is very professional, you know. Yes, we got build errors. Nice. Not much for operating minus between point and integer. Yes, you are right. That minus 30 should be inside of the parentheses. Maybe I'm confused and kickoff is actually not positioned by this, but actually positioned by and uh, by kick, um, sorry k runner I, I keep saying kick off k runner is positioned by hand in k runner code it could be yeah well if it's so then we can't do anything about it and what we can do which is ugly to a certain extent is to make the screen smaller than it actually is This should like move the dialogue accordingly. What's avail? Avail set top, blah, blah, blah. And then of course it checks. Okay, so takes the geometry, from the geometry builds this avail, and then based on the avail, it positions the applet. So if we make this avail smaller, is it minus or plus? So it goes from zero, so plus 30 for the top one, minus 30 from the bottom one, plus 30 for the left one, and minus 30 here. Okay, so let's see if this changed anything. I will not try to preserve fits low so that clicks on the empty void will be redirected to the dialog simply because it's crazy, like it makes sense for the panel, but as far as, oh well, it's something. As far as dialogues go, then no, that, that's not a good idea. So it is positioned a bit more to the right compared to the left side, not for the bottom one. It stays attached to the element. So we've got something, but not enough. Okay, so right point, top point. Okay, so this one we should probably change as well or maybe just that one i don't know let's see what happens okay so this one we've seen what happens let's try to change this one this time blah 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 blah, blah. this is a point so two elements item map rect to scene item bounding rect with minus size width okay so top one uh, X and then Y. Okay, so this here is top point, so plus 30. This is the bottom point, so minus 30 here. Blah, 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 plus 30. Blah, 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 minus 30. Let's see what this one does. I mean, maybe the answer is nothing, but who knows? The easiest way to learn about an existing code base is to mess a bit with it and see what happens. Okay, so nothing. Okay, so that's not what we're looking for. Uh, the veil thing was interesting. Changing this parent geometry bound is pretty useless. Yeah, wouldn't change anything. So if dialog pos y is less than a wheel top now that's the bottom a dialog plus y plus the height is more than a wheel bottom so it's hitting bottom if it's on the top or on the bottom just moves it vertically otherwise no it it moves it to the top point hmm. okay so first of all let's try let's, let's put again this was the rack right directions so let's put 60 this time minus 60 like this
okay, let's see if anything changed. Okay, so it just it does move. So it doesn't move vertically and my guess is that it's because of this where is it set y uh, top point y what if I say minus 30 because basically what it seems to say is if it doesn't fit and it doesn't fit then if it's on top on bottom and it is on bottom set the y coordinate to the top point of the item which is the kickoff icon so it says sets the y to top of uh, kickoff but what if we change this y coordinate what happens And this floating. Not by the right amount though. Maybe panel is like not considered in this. I oh, know because I put 30, did I? I just put 30. Where, where am I? Here, 30, yes, and I put 60. Okay, so it is working as expected. Uh, let's put 44 again, thank you. Meaning that we need to change both this one and that one. Okay, so it's like this. I think I've got it. Top point, we change it here directly. X and Y, so we do this, minus 60. 60 is, I don't know, random number. Um, this is actually minus, this is plus. And then here, minus 60, again, plus 60, minus 60, okay? This one should work. And if it does, then we just strip. Ah, we also need to update the borders thingy. So that's another aspect to consider. And then we need to actually read the floatiness from the plasma theme which is easy in QML, but C++, I don't know, no clue. Shouldn't be that hard. Ah, dang it, it broke. My guess was not right, so what's the point? I did a uh, bottom point which is the one that we've just changed, isn't it? No, it's top point, okay. Top point, we had put like a minus 30. Maybe I swapped again the values. Top point, let's try. Because I, I had put minus before, which makes sense. Maybe I'm confusing the position of the points. Usually it's top plus, bottom minus but it seems like these points are for some reason which I don't fully understand inverted so maybe the signs are also wrong let's try it's a bit weird because if that would be the case the pop-up should go not up but below but not stand still stay still hmm. Okay, this is working. It still doesn't look like the distance is correct, but I guess it is. So as you can see, we're missing shadow on bottom. There's no big issue of... Hello? Okay. Missing shadow on the bottom, that's something I was um, considering, so 
we need to look for the code that decides on the mm, active what was it again let me check the documentation of uh, frame svg plasma curve svg item maybe something like that uh, enabled borders this should be no this i don't know let's try it should be it somehow oh there is it okay blah, blah, blah. Uh, this reads them, this reads them, set enabled borders. This is the sync borders function, so this is interesting. Line 217, also this one, I oh, know this one is no border, not interesting. So we can just look for this one and just this two so what we're interested in are this okay so takes the borders converts them into enabled border and sets them so what we should say is int borders blah 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 then we change it accordingly but floating windows have all borders so we need to uh, location isn't floating and uh, well basically we what we'll put here is floating uh, floating margin from theme equals zero which means that it's not floating and then it allows it to pick the right border but Right now we are testing the floatiness, so we just put false. Does false require capital F in C++? I think not. Yes. Okay, so this one should put shadows on all four borders and then we can proudly say it is floating. Nicely. So let's try it out. So what? Okay, so now we get bottom shadow, but it doesn't float anymore. <laughs> so what happened is that borders is a variable that's checked in set position, so we should not mess with it. Okay. It's weird, I mean, it's declared here. What are we messing with? Messing up with. It should been, shouldn't be used anywhere else. Maybe, ah, because it, of, of course, it checks for um, enabled borders. Okay, yeah. And it even does this in the set position function, which I can't find anymore. Pop up position, blah, 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 here. If and blah, 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 there is not this, but why is not this? 
So basically what we, it's saying is, if this one is floating, forget about constraints about the screen, but I don't see why. I mean, I do understand the logic that if it's floating, then it's not attached to any border, then it can stay whenever, wherever it wants. But at the same time, at the same time, why should a floating dialogue be outside of the parent window? Okay, so I'll just take it off for now. I'll discuss with, with the maintainer to see what's the reasoning behind this. Like, I, I get the general idea, but uh, probably I'm missing the specific use cases where this change, this change breaks something. So, for now, I'll take it off and then we can change it. I mean, if we need that, we can just say, uh, and it's not floating except if the floatingness is defined by the plasma team. It's just a bit uglier, but if that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do. Right now, I just take it off. Let's see. And uh, Deal as issues. Okay, so now it is floating on all four sides here. Ah, but of course, the footer is not rounded on the bottom. Okay, so it is floating. Okay, so yes, it is the footer, but uh, we can't do anything about the broken footer. That's entirely different, not related to the thing in itself floating, so, okay, and it is floating. So now what I will do is just replace the hard-coded values that we set with actual values read from the plasma theme, and then the patch is pretty much ready. I'll stop the video for now and I'll do this off-screen off because I need to listen to a bit of music. <laughs> 